Well, it's high school, but not as we know it. A Catholic school in a multicultural area of Western Sydney has thrown out the traditional timetable along with the textbooks. Year 7 students are part of a bold new experiment that's changing the way they learn. Rebecca Barrett reports. These Year 7 students start their school day with what's called brain push-ups, getting themselves in the zone for learning. The brain push-ups really get the, the students focused for the day, and, uh, but more than that, it really is about connecting the mind and the body. It's all part of a new approach to try to engage students, some with learning difficulties from a low socio-economic area, in a school with 38 different nationalities. So it's really initially responding to the needs of kids, uh, meeting them where they're, they're at. The 68 students work closely with just five teachers in the same space instead of moving class for different subjects. Every day begins with 100 minutes of communication and navigation, otherwise known as English and maths. Have you got your concept? Yeah. What's your concept? They're working in groups on a script for a chat show. The curriculum has changed and you have to find the information yourself and be curious, wanting to know what it is. Teachers say students want to come to school and are more articulate. So I can speak up now and I can um, be really confident when I'm talking to other people. It's a learning journey for teachers too. Lesson plans can change at the last minute if there's a concept that needs further exploring. Had you told me this a year ago that I'd be like this, I would have said no. And I would have been adamant it would have been a no. But um, I've grown as a teacher and um, not only as a teacher, as a person. Um, I've become a better mother. The principal says it's not about better test scores but more engaged students. We are asking the students in terms of 21st century skills to be uh, collaborative, to be able to communicate, to be creative and to be critical thinkers. Just eight months into the new initiative, they're well on the way. Rebecca Barrett, ABC News.